to enhance the entrance area at Presque Isle State Park. It is the Presque Isle Gateway District project and we have been following it from the start. We have a progress update tonight on that $8 million revitalization plan. Erie News Now, Jameson Hicksonbaugh is joining us live from West 8th Street where it is all happening. Jameson, good evening. Good evening. The township has just about to wrap up with phase one of the project and Mill Creek recently purchased a total of five properties here along West 8th Street, a total of three of which have since been demolished. And if you take a look behind me, you're going to see some of the work that's been done over the past five weeks from the crews of Empire Excavation. This is the site of the former Manor Hotel, but as you can see, the building has since been demolished with all the debris cleared from the property. And if you take a look over here, Dave, I'll have you follow me. It's the same story for the neighboring property. This is the site of the former sandbar, but as you can see, the place has since been leveled, everything cleared out. And if you look across the street, we'll, we'll show you that third property. This is on the corner of West 8th and Peninsula Drive, the former Joe Roots Grill. As you can see, this place has also been demolished. And now the township is going to begin to move forward into phase two of this project. And that phase includes the demolition of the Bel Air Hotel, which is just across the street. And once that is complete, the township will begin talking with developers to bring new businesses to Mill Creek. Back in 2002, this area was rezoned as multi-use, so the township is hoping to attract commercial retail and residential developers to the area. Obviously, I think it'll be a big benefit because you'll have new businesses that will add to the tax rolls, uh, both you know employer tax and, and their property tax. But hopefully with the residential component, the ability there, then there's also income tax um, benefits that come with that and I think it'll just benefit you know not just Mill Creek but the whole region by being a destination for people whether they visited Presque Isle or not you know a place that they want to come and have have amenities that they would like to spend time at. And Mill Creek also purchased this building behind me it's the former Grasshopper building However, it has since been determined that it might be a historical site, so Mill Creek's still trying to determine exactly what to do with that building, and they hope to wrap up with phase one of this project on May 15th. Live from West 8th Street, Jamison Hicksonbaugh, Erie News Now.